Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo where we are now up at Camp Cougar where we have got the adorable addition of two brand new cougar cubs to our Blue Ridge Wildlife Park. Oh my gosh, look at how cute they are! I totally forgot how they have such stunning blue eyes and all of their little stripes and spots that help them to really blend in and have that fantastic camouflage to protect them while they're little cubs. Oh, you guys! Burr is doing well and so is T, his brother. So they have actually completed one of the several things that we're supposed to be doing for this uh, particular wildlife park. Oh good, more mechanic research is complete! Boom! Our kayakers are just knocking it out of the park, getting more research done on drinks. And uh, I should probably be knocking it out of the park on trying to complete this challenge. So let's go ahead and today I think we're going to try to increase the guest education so that we can fund more of the like actual money that we need to make our zoo work. And if we have some time left over, I'm thinking about adding the Arctic foxes up here at the new cougar camp that we have actually started to build. Oh dear, and cougar camp is starting to get kind of messy. So um, I'm, <sighs> hiring staff is literally one of the most expensive things that you could do in the whole zoo, surprisingly enough, or perhaps not surprising, uh, since you know you want your places to be clean. Uh, but let's put down, all right, we'll put down a few trash bins here and there to encourage people to reduce, reuse, recycle. I'm gonna actually move that one over here under this beautiful tree. And then we're gonna hire a staff member up here, even though I am not sure if we should be hiring more staff at the moment. We have some very overworked caretakers. And so we'll have a leaf, oh, I know, leaf artist, like an autumn leaf artist. So we're gonna have cinnamon. So we're gonna have, um, Autumn Leaf Artist Cinnamon, come join us. And Cinnamon, oh, I'm so happy to see you. You have been a member of our community for so long and I'm so grateful to pluck your name off our list of October patrons to come and work in Camp Cougar. So we're gonna have you trained and we're gonna have you up here at Cougar Camp. I'm gonna rename Cougar Camp to Camp Cougar. Ah, let's see, there we go because that's gonna really help out. And then we'll start keeping this area clean. Guests are also getting kind of tired. Uh, so, oh, I wonder if we've researched coffee yet. Could we set up a little coffee shop? Have we unlocked the caffeinated beverages? Because the coffee actually does let people get a bunch more energy back. Let's see, <gasps> we just did it! We just unlocked cosmic coffee! Oh my gosh, okay, so I wanna add that in. That's like absolutely essential. I know that we just had a drink shop, but one of the things when we were actually camping in Yellowstone <laughs> that made my friends the most desperate was making sure that we had somewhere to get their daily coffee. No joke. Um, oh, and actually Street Fox coffee would be a perfect thing to add in right before we get ready to go ahead and have uh, foxes. So we'll put in the coffee shop back here. Give me just a second. We're gonna build some paths to it. I'm gonna try our traditional new path of awesomeness, the tree line path. I think I'll replace all of the boardwalk path with these like tree line paths in a bit too. And then I'm gonna plunk down somewhere for people to throw their coffee cups away. Well, actually you guys should be bringing reusable coffee cups well, if there's anything I could encourage you guys to do, it's don't use single-use plastics, don't use single-use cups. When we went camping, we all brought our own water bottles. We had just one plastic water jug that we got that we would reuse and fill with water to try to take very good care of the environment that we were visiting. And I'm really proud about that. All right, so now we have Street Fox Coffee. Let me pull up our wonderful list of random comments from our previous videos so that one of you guys, oh, Avery! Avery, what a pretty way to spell your name. This is gonna be Avery's Coffee, uh, Avery's Coffee Corner. There we go. So Avery's Coffee Corner is now open and hopefully going to entice some guests to come and eat. And then Avery, you're gonna have this employee, and this is actually Feather. Oh my gosh, Feather Collector. Feather from our Patreon list. Feather, thank you.
you so much for making all of our adventures possible. You're going to go ahead and you're going to be part of the corridor area. Let me, or excuse me, the camp zone. I'm going to add this spot into camp. And then... There we go. Feather, look at her. She's already serving up some nice coffee. I don't know why those children are getting coffee. Hopefully it will all work out okay. All right, and we'll have you work here at Camp Cougar with everybody. Yay, okay. So that's done. I'm gonna put in just a couple benches really fast or a cute little picnic table. There's never room for my picnic tables. Ah, I never make my paths big enough for them. I know I should. Okay, can I, I really, I like, ooh, 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 yes, no way, I can just like put my picnic tables kind of like smack dab in the middle, if I had known that, all right, well, they'd be kind of in the way for a lot of people, <laughs> what about over here to the side a little bit, people can walk around that, there we go, put one there, and then, let's see, Probably should just be benches, otherwise. We have two types of New World benches we could add in. Couple benches over here where people can rest and look at the stream. There, all right. That makes me very happy. Hopefully this place will really start popping. We'll get a lot more money coming in. Uh, I saw that some animals actually had welfare issues. The American have <laughs> alligator habitat has some issues. Okay, that probably, probably needs to be taken care of. Uh, but while we're here, let's go ahead and grab, ooh, more mechanic research done already? What the heck? All right, we're going to get a couple more spots there. Mechanic research already done. Our kayakers are just like on a roll. We have even more food shops unlocked now. I should probably start working on souvenir shops at some point in the near future. But let's get... Can I get an animal educator over here in our little camp? Is that possible? I think so, right here. Might be a good spot. Um, but that's not really good for our guests. How about we put an animal educator like over here? Because I think we can actually make it so that they can reach the animals. If I do this just right. And then we can make like a talking zone, I think. All right, is that close enough or too far? Let's find out. Species not selected. I want to be cougar. No power. Oh, food path is blocked. Okay, so I think we need the path to be like much closer up against the exhibit. Here we go. And then I want to build a talking spot and learn how to do that. It's probably going to be really awkward, but I'll do my best. Uh, but not right now. Right now, I just want to like add this in. All right, link. Oh, link seating. Nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll figure out how to work that in a second. Cougar, no power. We're going to have music playing. North American playlist, please. No, no, North American playlist. There we go. Okay, there. And then manage work zone. I'm gonna add it into Camp Cougar. You have to do all these little itty bitty nitty, like nitty things, but it's worth it. This will be in Camp Cougar. And we do have a staff member, an educator who's about to become really exhausted as they dash about the place. Uh, but we do have a educator who can potentially come up here once I add in some power for this. And we'll set this to be like a September talk. So hopefully the educator has enough time to walk up here. All right. Oh no, and a diseased animal discovered. Oh geez. All right, and we probably need a little bit more money. And to explore the idea of getting more money, uh, we might go ahead and, look, I'm gonna sneak this in the back just for now. It's, it's terrible, I know. I don't really want to do it. But I'm just gonna put this there. Okay, we just need enough power up here. There. Uh, but what was I saying? Yeah, we're, we need to get a little bit more money. So we need to go check in on our bullfrogs in just a second. Um, and then I do think this is just perfect. Oh, we can make the talking spots. Like one face this way, one face that way. And have the fox right over here. Yes. 
I'm feeling it. I'm feeling that it's Arctic Fox time. Uh, okay. Oh, look, the alligators are feeding right down here. That's really cool. What's not so cool is to see all of this litter. Oh, dear. So, probably need to get a nice rubbish bin. And we'll put a rubbish bin right here to give people an idea of what to do. But people seem to love this bridge we built. Yes, that's fantastic. Okay, so next up, let's check on the frogs. Because we did add in some mates for our frogs. And we'll check in on the Goliath bird eaters. Wolfie is pregnant. Oh, you only get one bullfrog at a time? Fargo is our other other frog. We'll send him to the Animal Trade Center. There's an alert on Wolfie, maybe? Because Wolfie is expecting offspring. So you don't get very many frogs. And Caprice, this female, is our other frog. You do not get very many frogs at a time. That's a pity. I was hoping we could just really be, like, rolling around with the frogs and making a lot of money. But $700 is not bad. I'll take it. All right. Every little bit helps right now. And I think getting an arctic fox would be a lot of it helping. Meanwhile, the bird eaters, they're expecting, but they haven't hatched yet. So that's a little bit harder to get going than I thought. Also, still really proud of this use of planter tech. I'm gonna need to do planter tech more in the future. I'll remember that. All right, let's see. So that leaves us with the arctic fox, which means, yeah, we'll need a keeper up here. And if we have a keeper up here, we might as well move the keeper's door from way down in the boondocks to being like over here. And if we're gonna have an arctic fox, how much territory does our beautiful arctic fox need? Oh, look at that, you guys! The arctic fox is a small species of canid that lives in the arctic regions and alpine tundra of Canada, the USA, Greenland, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Russia. So basically think your northern hemisphere. Oh, one second, mechanics. What the heck, our mechanics are just on a freaking roll, even more drinks. I guess if, since they're kayakers this time, they know all about water. So they're like figuring out all sorts of great drinks to have. All right. In the winter, most Arctic foxes have a thick white coat that insulates them from extreme temperatures. In summer, their coat is brown or dark gray, pale on the underside and is much thinner. So they do change colors. They're not always white and they're not always brown or gray, but they change those colors because they live in a particular climate that is so extreme with the shifts between basically, in my opinion, it's two seasons, winter and not winter. <laughs> when you get into the place that's basically covered in snow for such a long part of the year, at least if global warming doesn't have it say, then I feel like there's winter and not winter. And during winter, just like Arctic hares, Arctic foxes will change the color of their fur to white, which makes me think, friends, what we should do is we should make a little spot for Arctic foxes back here that we put a cooler into and we always keep slightly covered, just a wee bit, just slightly covered with snow. So also, Wolfie just had some offspring. Good girl, Wolfie! I'm very proud of you. Uh, oh, she had two this time! Zadie and Ember! We'll send those over to the Exhibit Trade Center. And Ember's a gold star! Oh, maybe that's why we didn't get that many, that much money before. So, a silver star bullfrog sells for 400, and a gold star for five. Mwah. Oh, that's fantastic. We'll keep, we'll keep that one. And then when the time comes, we'll, we'll get another little pond. Oh, maybe over here by the creek! Yes, I love that idea. All right. So, size for the arctic fox. Hmm. No water requirement. No climbing requirement. No swimming requirement. We need 2,153 square feet of a grade 2 fence at least a little over 4 feet high. The size of this cougar habitat... Does it tell me the size of the habitat? <laughs> is almost 800,000 square meters. <laughs> oh, or square feet. So, uh, yeah, we're fine. That's huge. We don't need a habitat that big for our fox. Um, I'm going to put down... Let's see, grade two is one-way glass. Can they climb? I don't know if they can climb. We're going to do wooden logs to try to keep up a nice theme over here. And then I'm going to make it a little shorter 
on this side, up along the, the creek side. Oh, and we can connect the two sides of the creek. That's a good idea. So we'll have part of the fox exhibit on this side. And then, whoa, okay. I want it to be big enough that people can like come in from multiple angles to see the fox. I love watching foxes like in really good AZA accredited zoo facilities. Fennec foxes are some of my favorite because they're just so cute. Like they can't help it. When you talk to the keepers, they're like, yeah, fennec foxes are mean. And fennec foxes are very mean. <laughs> Uh, they can be because they're foxes. They're wild animals. Uh, they can be a little bit mean to each other. They're extremely nippy. They do not make good pets. Um, but I'm just always tickled to pieces uh, by seeing them because you know they've got an attitude and you know that you don't want to get too close to them. But they're so cute, you guys. Oh, every time I'm just such a sucker for them. All right, let's move this wonderful weather vane over here, I think, so they can continue to provide some power to everybody. There we go. And then over here, I'm going to, yeah, this is kind of a mess, but we can fix it. Um, over here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add, let's put that down. Habitat has damaged barriers. Yes, I know. My, my kayakers are apparently having more fun kayaking than they are going ahead and repairing things. <laughs> but sometimes that's just what you got. All right, any blueprints? And we're gonna go for a small keeper hut over here. Oh, the glass house. Oh, that's so cute. It totally doesn't fit the theme. So I'm gonna make myself, force myself to do new world. But that was really cute. I liked it. Oh, with a tiny little garden right back here. All right, and we'll put down another little path. Let these connect. And then we'll make a little path going this way. Break it off to staff paths right here. Thank you very much. There, good. That sends a nice strong signal, like staff only back here. I might even put like a little fence just to hide some of this some more because that's that'd be really cute. Uh, but that gives us, how big is this? A little over 12,000. So that might be small-ish for two foxes, but we're gonna start here and we're going to call this Fox Fields. And then we're gonna get a keeper assigned to this zone. We're gonna make it so people can see where the Arctic foxes go and we're gonna add in the actual foxes. So let's get some Arctic foxes in here. Very happy about this. I think the way to win <laughs> is to really focus on making this like an amazing camp. So here we go. We have rescued an Arctic fox who was a former pet and we have rescued a male with really fantastic fertility who happens to be um, a breeding program member, probably for keeping their genetics really nice and strong. We're gonna go ahead and toss them in here. And while we wait, let's move quickly. Snap alongside barriers. And I'm gonna see if I can get a nice path all right, we'll make it a bit bigger because this is going to be a pretty path to like show off the side of the creek and everything. Can I make this nice and big? Yes. I don't want the whole thing to be that size. I just wanted it to kind of be cute like that. All right. Snap along this side. Oh, yay! We have the two foxes in the zoo, so we complete that objective. They're not here yet, but... I think that caretakers are currently carrying them on their way here. There we go. And then let's come on in, edit this barrier. And all of these are gonna have windows, like this whole thing. Oh, 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 you guys, you guys. All right, uh, one way glass even. So the foxes won't be scared. <gasps> you guys, our first fox, yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I am so happy. Quickly, we need to assign a keeper over here before we forget and our poor foxes uh, don't have any food. They also need a water source that I might need to play with in just a second. Hang on one moment. Okay, there we go. Had to get the, the glass just right. Okay, before I forget, before we name them, we need to go ahead and get a new keeper assigned. 
And this is actually going to be Kiara. Yes, and she's going to be inspecting Fox Fields. So this is going to be um, Fox. Hmm. Din Fox. Din Researcher. Uh, Kiara, who is another one of our amazing patrons, keeping all of these adventures possible. Kiara, we're going to train you, even though it's so expensive to train people. Oh my gosh. And we're going to add to Camp Cougar. The foxes! Yes! Oh, this is going to be wonderful. I can sense it in my bones, friends. The guests are going to love it. Oh dear, there's gigantic gaping holes in the cougar exhibit. Oh no. <laughs> the guests are going to love these foxes. We're going to hopefully get some nice talking points installed so people can learn all about them. We can put some seating down. Oh, this is wonderful. I, I'm very thrilled. All right. Look at these two. Look at these two. We'll be taking care of this fantastic new fox exhibit and trying to make Camp Cougar everything that my heart knows it can be next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our lovely Arctic foxes and lots and lots of name suggestions. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.